It's been a great start to the national hunt season for Gordon Elliott and his team. He's already won a Munster National, a Galway Plate, a Champion Chase at Down Royal, a Troy Town Chase. He's burst through the 100 winner mark already that he sets himself as a goal each season. So we came along to Cullen Thra to check in with Gordon as we move into the heart of the national hunt season. Gordon, you must be really delighted with how it's gone so far. Yeah, couldn't be happier than, you know, the horse running well, a lot of nice young horses, so yeah, we're very happy. And on, on the Down Royal meeting in particular, I know it's a meeting in which you historically do really well, but you, you had 11 of the 14 winners there, that must have been even beyond your own expectations. Yeah, listen, we are hoping we'd have a good a good week and a uh, good weekend, and it didn't look like it was going to start off great when uh, the horse fell at the tour last in the maiden hurdle, but uh, no, look, we didn't look back and we had a great weekend, so it was, uh, it was great, yeah, delighted. If we can talk about just one or two of those winners, like Jerry Kalam, it was a big day for him, his first foray out of Novice Company, yeah. and he passed that test as well. He did, yeah. Do you know, uh, there'll be a lot of improvement in him from that race, and I suppose the only thing with Jerry is he wants to win, and you know, I think it's a great attribute to have on a horse. Uh, he's tough and he stays, and uh, yeah, he's a good horse. Because it was only a four horse race, but there were multiple grade one winners, the three horses he was taken on, including Conflated of your own. And obviously the expectation was there, they sent him off a short price favourite. Were you hoping, I think, that he'd, that he'd go and win? I was hoping he'd win, yeah, but you're nervous, you know what I mean? Obviously there were three very good horses in their own right, and uh, all three of them had had a run when we hadn't. But uh, I was delighted with him, um, you know, he dug very deep at the back of the last and galloped the whole way to the line. And um, I think the three mile two in the Gold Cup triple suit him very well. Yeah, and he didn't have an ideal run through the race either, and he made him, like, he didn't just land a bit flat footed over the last as yeah, well. Yeah, he landed, he kind of landed out flat footed at, at the back of the last, and you know, if he'd have got better ahead, my other horse probably would have cost him. You know, he brought him out wide at the at the, at the second last, the third last, but uh, look, Jack switched him back to the inside, and he battled very well. But uh, I thought it was a good performance, and he'll have learned an awful lot from it. And what are you thinking now with Jerry Kalam in terms of his his program for the rest of the season? Obviously, you'd be looking probably to saddles or something, you know. I'd imagine uh, Christmas, and then I'll be well on to the Gold Cup. Um, you know, he's still a young horse, so we're going to mind him this year and, and see where we go. But uh, uh, I'm happy with the start we've had. We're delighted. And of course, you know what a Gold Cup winner looks like. Do you think he has the attributes? I think he, yeah, he's probably not as flashy as Don Cossack was. You know, Don Cossack was probably a speedier horse at home. Jerry doesn't show much, but he seems to keep it all for the track. But uh, I think his style of racing will suit the Gold Cup and. Uh, you know, he's ran well in Cheltenham, just beaten. Um, yeah, I wouldn't swap him. And have you always kind of had Gold Cup in mind from, from his early days? Because as you say, his only defeat was at Cheltenham yeah. last season when he ran well. No, he's, he's probably unlucky not to be unbeaten, so mm. he is. Um, look, if I, I'm not going to say I always thought he was a Gold Cup horse, but in fairness to him, he, he's, he's climbed the ladder the whole time and uh, you'd have to be happy with him. And on Conflated, like as you say, he, he ran a massive race, probably going the wrong way around from him. Yeah. Though. He did run a good race. He'd probably go back to Leopards as well, so he will. He loved going left-handed. Um, yes, he, he ran a good race. You know, obviously I've schooled him for the cross-country race. So we'll 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 go to Christmas and we'll decide whether we go cross-country or whether we we have a go to Gold Cup. You know, he was touring it last year. Um, yeah, so we've we've a couple of different options for him. And do you think he'll improve again for going left-handed or going back to Leopards? He seems to go yeah, particularly well there. He seems to like Leopards. He definitely. Do you know, he probably he was an awful lot fitter in Down Royal than he was in Punchestown. Um, he was probably as fit as I could have him without, without you know, having a, a match race in Down Royal. But um, I think going left handed will suit him a lot. Yeah. Ashley Meadow, it was a, a two horse race that he won at Down Royal, but he won it well. Your goal plate winner as well. What, what do you think he might do now? I was happy with him, to be honest. Um, do you know, he, he's a great cr cruising speed and a great way of jumping. Um, I'd imagine we'd probably, he's having a little break at the moment, we'd probably get him back for some of them festivals in the spring, you know, he doesn't want really, really winter heavy ground, but uh, yeah, he, he could be an exciting horse, you know, you know, the, the likes of that grade two in Fairy House, and you've got a few races that are in the entry, so I'd imagine that's where he'd be heading. Right. I think you mentioned the Grand National afterwards, is that on the plan? Or? Yeah, I was kind of thinking Grand National, I always thought about Grand National, but just looking at the reruns a couple of times of Down Royal, he just might be a bit pacey for it, whether he stayed a... Um, Three mile plus. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. Tiger Roll, he was he was a pacey horse as well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but he was probably more of a settled horse than Astry. Hmm. You know whether he, whether Astry used too much energy early in the race would be a worry for me. Yeah, yeah. 
um, some of your novices from down, Royal, down memory lane, he was very good, he was unbeaten yeah. as well. Yeah, he was exciting, um, you know, wasn't the strongest race in the world, but you'd have to love what he did. Um, you know, he, he hurdled very quick, uh, and he's an exciting horse, you know. I, he might just want real, real winter heavy ground at the moment, at this stage of his career, but uh, he's exciting. And where do you think we might see him again? He, now? He'll be in Fairy House. Uh, we'll see how how, we, how the next week or ten days goes. We'll make our mind up where we go there or not. Um, but uh, he looks exciting. Yeah. Um, Firefox. He he won the bumper. He'd he'd had a run in the maiden hurdle as well before. Yeah. That. Yeah. He's going to go hurdling now. So he's he's a nice horse. Uh, um, the plan wasn't to obviously go for for the bumper, but uh, we got a little setback with, with the other horse. Uh, so we ended up running him in the bumper. Um, he jumps well and uh, he's going to be a good staying horse. Yeah, and he's obviously got that experience of jumping hurdles as well yeah. when he goes back. Yeah, so he'd probably start off in two or three weeks in, in a maiden hurdle as well, I'll be mad. Yeah, good. And uh, found a 50, was very good in winning the beginner's chase. He settled an awful lot more than he was mm -hmm. last year. He, he was a bit of a burn away last year over hurdles. Um, but I'd say a mixture of offence probably and, and a bit of age, he's, he's off settling down a good bit. So uh, I like the way he hit the line and down right. He dropped his head. I know the last couple of fences were, 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 uh, were I made it with the sun. But uh, I like the way he dropped his head from the last, or from you know, from the up the home straight. Mm. Like it probably wasn't in his favour because he was jumping so well that the fences. Yeah, were you know, sometimes when you see the last or a <laughs> couple of fences taken out, you're thinking, will it suit us or not suit us? But the way he was jumping, it, it definitely didn't help us anyway. But uh, yeah, no, it was a good performance. And might we see him at Fairy House as well? I'd imagine we'll go for the Drinmore him all be well. Yeah, good. Um, Irish Point was very good. Beat a very good mare. Gave her plenty of weight as well. And Magic and Zoe. Yeah, he's a good horse. Not an easy horse to place now, you know. He's just where he'd have to pace for two miles for them good two milers. I, I, I'm not sure. I think he'd stay three miles, but whether at this stage of the career is the right thing to do. I think he's a horse he definitely will see at three miles, but uh, you know he'd be in the Hatton's Grace. We might we might look at running him in that, um, or maybe he could go three miles at Christmas. You never know. Right, good because he's obviously a young horse and he's a Grade One winner as an novice as well. Exactly, yeah. You know he settled so well. I don't think I don't see three miles being a problem. Yeah, and brighter days ahead. She was really yeah. good as well. She's a lovely mare, so she is. Um, she'd have learned an awful lot from down Royal. You know, it was. I know she won a Taurus, but it was kind of a, a no race. Um, but you know, she was a bit novice jumping. But you'd have to be impressed with the way she hit the line in down Royal. She looks a good mare. And yeah, like is it like the the Taurus race? She was out on her own. She went to her left. She seemed to be yeah. happier and a better race in behind. Yeah, as definitely. Well. She'd have learned a lot from the last day. So. Uh, Look, I imagine we'll see her over Christmas somewhere. I'm not just sure where I'm going to go, but she probably have one more run and then Cheltenham will be well. All right, and do you think you'll keep her to Mary's company? I think I will, yeah. yeah. I think I will, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Tritan Chase meeting as well, another meeting at which you do really well. You, you, you won the race again. Like, Did you get a good kick out of that? Yeah, it's, look, it's uh, them big staying chases. I love I love them races. You know, We've been lucky in them over the years. Um, yeah, look, it was great to win it. Uh, Coco Beach, like he's been some servant, you know. Um, he won a test us, you know, he's been to Tri Town, he won a 10 up, uh, you know, and he's been placed in numerous other big races. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a lovely horse and it's great to win. Mm. And obviously, it's it's a meeting, another meeting that you target along the way, and the, the race itself in particular. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's there's good races, good prize money, so why not? And you had a couple of other really interesting winners on the day as well. Uh, Croke Park, he stayed on really well to win the two and a half yeah. mile hurdle. Yeah, he looked good. Um, Jack said he, uh, you know, he's a big three mile chaser in the make, and he said he didn't do a whole lot when he got there. He was very, not green, but just just babyish, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, he looks exciting. And it was two and a half miles, but he just got stronger and stronger as the rest went on. Yeah, he? you know, half between the second last and the last, you think is he going to get there? But he kind of won convincingly then at the end. But uh, look, he's a big stayer in the making. Yeah, good. And American Mike was great to see him back when he was beginning to chase. Yeah, Jack has done a lot with him, work with him school and. Um, I thought it was a good performance because you know Willie's horse looks very nice. Um, you know, when he was going to second last, you're wondering is he going to pick up or not. But you'd have to be happy with him. And like he's a horse who was obviously a top class bumper horse, probably didn't fulfil expectations as a novice hurdler, but looks like he's back on track now. Yeah, he was disappointing over hurdles to say the least. But um, that was a nice start. So I'd imagine we will probably maybe go Christmas with him now. All be well for. Uh, for Limerick for the for the Grade One. Right, good. He's in the Drinmore as well, but you think this will come yeah, too definitely, soon? Yeah, definitely won't yeah. go to the Drinmore. Yeah. It'll come too soon. Uh, so we'll probably look at Christmas. I'll be well. So the the, the Drinmore meeting, the the Hatton's Grace Hurdle meeting at Ferry House, that's another obviously big for local local meeting yeah. to you, and it's another meeting that you target. 
Yeah, look, uh, we've got plenty of entries yet, so we'll we're still a fortnight out, so we'll see what what what's what. But yeah. uh, you know, we'll have we'll have runners in all the grade ones, and uh, hopefully the supporting card as well. And that's it. Like even your, your maiden hurdle winners, your uh, beginners chase winners, they obviously have the Royal Bond hurdle and the Drinmore chase yeah. as a potential next step, don't they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, look, we've plenty of entries in the in in the Drinmore, the Royal Bond, and Hatton's Grace. Uh, I'm not sure with the novice holders what, what I'm going to go with yet. I mean, look, you see, I won, I won a great race at the weekend with a maiden. So, um, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll have a look at it in the next week and see what we do. And Tia Poo, we saw Tia Poo out here this morning. Yeah. He looked good. Is he on track for the hands Yeah, race? he's in good form. He looks well. Again, another horse that doesn't run in too flashy at home. But, uh, he, he, you know, if he, if he found five or six pounds over the summer, he, he's he's up there with the top best of the stairs holders, horses. Um, you know, yeah, so we're looking forward to him. And as Hatton's Grace, has that been his radar for a while now? Yeah, that's where yeah. it started off all the yeah. Good. And the season stretching out in front of us, Gordon, like, do you have targets? Do you set goals? Or do you just try and train as many winners as you can? I try and train as many winners as I can. Look, I always say at the start of the season, I'm going to try and train 100 winners. And well, That's uh, done. That's done, yeah. So uh, everything is a bonus now. And like you've been obviously you've you've stretched far and wide as well as whatever I think 120 winners today in Ireland you've had plenty of winners in Britain and three winners in America as well so you look further afield obviously yeah look we we'll we we'll, uh, we'll go anywhere for a winner um, but I'm just I'm I'm very lucky with the bunch of owners I have um, you know the horses and all the staff I have at second to none and that's it like it's in, it's obviously a real team effort here but you seem to have assembled a really good mix of high class horses like established horses and then novices coming through and young horses as well that some of them we haven't seen yet yeah it's all about getting the young ones and trying to find the next um you know the next champion uh, but yeah we've a lot of nice young horses and exciting times hopefully like are you are you excited as excited about the season as you have been for many a season uh, i am excited yeah look i'm i'm um you know i'm pretty i'm level enough headed you know what i mean like i know Every day, there's problems every day, so when you're training jump horses, you just got to keep everything crossed that everything's going to be okay, but uh, yeah, no, we have a nice bunch and we're, we're, we're happy where we are. And you mentioned the people as well that you have, like the, the team here and the jockeys that you have, like from Jack Kennedy's, obviously you're number one, but a lot of other supporting jockeys as well. Yeah, unbelievable, but I'm very, very lucky to have the bunch of jockeys I have, you know, obviously Jack is number one and all the boys lying behind him, but uh, yeah, no, I'm in a great position, um, they're great lads and they all get on very well as well, which is great, they're all friends, so... For me, that's important. You know, there's no, there's no different agenda with any of them. They all want the same. They all want winners, and uh, they all get on very well. So for me, that's very important. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.